In the previous video, we have seen what is the definition of electric field intensity based on Coulomb's law. In this video, we are going to discuss electric field intensity because of various charge distributions. From Coulomb's law, we have seen what is the definition of electric field intensity because of the point charge. Same concept we will extend to a line charge, surface charge, volume charge and so on. So in case of line charge, uh, rho L it is the charge density in coulomb per meter. Uh, rho S this is the surface charge density in coulomb per meter square and rho V this is the volume charge density in coulomb per meter cube. So let us extend the concept of electric field intensity to line charge, surface charge and volume charges. Uh, don't confuse this rho with the rho what we have seen in case of cylindrical coordinate system. In cylindrical coordinate rho indicates it is the radial distance whereas here we are using the symbol rho for charge density, surface charge density, volume charge density like that. Now let us assume there is a line charge density with charge density rho L coulomb per meter. So this is a line charge density rho L coulomb per meter. If I assume a small differential length dl, then this dl multiplied by rho l. So dl that is in meter multiplied by rho l that is coulomb per meter. So this is coulomb per meter into meter that is a charge. So this I can consider as a point charge degree. So we assume this line is made up of all this number of point charges dq. So if I take integral of this dq over the length of this line, so that gives me q. So that is this q is nothing but the total charge because of these lines. This is integral of rho l into dl over the length of the line. That gives me the total charge because of this line. Now the electric field intensity at some point P due to this type of line charge distribution is given by this formula E equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho L R minus R dash upon R upon R dash magnitude cube dl dash. Earlier we have defined electric field intensity as force per unit charge. So if it is a point charge then the electric field intensity we defined earlier it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q upon now if I consider some point charge located at this point this is the origin this is the origin and this is the point charge located here and at this point I am going to evaluate this. I am going to find out the electric field intensity E. So if this this is the position vector R and this is the position vector R dash. So this position vector it will be R minus R dash. So in this case the electric field intensity at point P because of the point charge P it is Q upon magnitude of R minus R dash Q into R minus R dash vector R position vector R minus R dash. So this is what we have seen earlier. This is for the point charge. So the same concept we are extending here for line charge. So we have seen this Q is nothing but this Q is nothing but 
integral rho l dl so that i substitute here so this gives me electric field intensity as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho l r minus r dash upon r magnitude of r minus r dash so the same concept now we will extend for a surface charge so let us assume this is a this is some surface charge here with a surface charge density of rho s that is coulomb per meter square now if i assume a differential surface charge delta s here so this can be considered as a point charge because of a small differential surface surface charge that charge i can consider as point charge the small amount of surface charge here this i can write as rho s into ds so ds is this incremental area multiplied by the charge density uh, rho s so this gives me dq so this dq can be considered as a point charge so if i take integration of all such points on this complete surface area so that will give me the total charge over this surface q so integrating this rho s ds over the complete surface that gives me total charge existing on this surface assuming this let us find out what is the electric field intensity at this point p let us evaluate the expression for the electric field intensity at the point p because of this surface charge having the surface charge density of rho s coulomb per meter square so the same concept what we applied for line charge can be extended here so as we have seen earlier now instead of point charge so if dq is assumed as a point charge so integral rho s ds that gives me the total charge so this becomes simply integration uh, over the surface and product of rho s into ds so the small incremental charge rho s into ds and integrating over the complete surface so that gives me the electric field intensity same concept we can extend for volume charge now this is some volume where there is a volume charge density rho v which is in coulomb per meter cube so if this is a small differential volume delta v here so because of this small differential volume differential charge here that will be rho v multiplied by this small incremental volume d so if i integrate this dq over the complete volume that gives me the total charge within this volume so that is volume integral rho v into d so again this is exactly similar to the expression for point charge so only the difference is now i am substituting here this q and that is integral rho v dv so product of rho v into dv and integrating this over the complete volume where there is a volume charge density of rho so the concept of coulomb's law we have extended for distributed charges like line charge surface charge and volume charge now let us find out the electric field due to a line charge now i assume here there is a line charge lying along z axis along this length a to b now because of this line charge of this segment a to b i want to find out what is the electric field intensity at some point p if i consider a small differential length dl here so because of this small differential length dl the charge dq here this is line charge density in coulomb per meter 
multiplied by the, the incremental length meter. So that gives me the small incremental charge dQe. Now since this line charge it is lying along z axis, so incremental length dL I can write as dz. So both these things are equivalent. Now if I assume a length of this line is from A to B, so the total charge because of this finite length line is now Q equal to integration over this line A to B rho L dz. So that is the total charge because of this finite length line. Now I have to find out the electric field intensity at point P here because of this finite line charge of length AB. So as we have seen as per the earlier formula E equal to integral rho L D L upon 4 pi epsilon 0 R square A R. So I am integrating this charge over the length D L, the differential length D L. Actually here D E that is the incremental uh, electric field intensity it is see, small amount of charge or we call it as the incremental charge because of the incremental length d l so rho l d l divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a so this is the electric field intensity because of a small differential length d l at this point so if I want to find out the electric field intensity because of the complete length, so I just carry out integration of these both sides and that gives me this equation. So this is E equal to integration rho L dL over this complete line. Now solving this integration over this length, so this gives me final equation for electric field intensity which is rho L upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho. So as you know rho L this is the line charge density and this rho this is the distance of this point P from z axis. So from this point P you draw perpendicular on the z axis and that length is the length rho here. Now what is this angle alpha 2 alpha 1 here? Now after drawing a perpendicular from point P on the z axis, uh, join point B with point P, join point A with point P as well as join this differential length DL with point P. Now the angle made by this line PP with the line BP, so that is alpha 2, so this angle is alpha 2 and the angle between TP and AP that is angle alpha 1. So these values of alpha 2 and alpha 1 uh, if you substitute here. So this gives me the rho component of electric field intensity A rho and Z component of the electric field intensity A Z. The third component a phi component that will be 0 because of the symmetry. So there will be only rho component and the z component. Now uh, what we have seen it was a electric field intensity because of a finite line charge. Now let us extend uh, this uh, formula for infinite line charge. So for a finite line charge just now we have seen the equation for electric field intensity, intensity rho L upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho in terms of alpha 2 and alpha 1. And as, as we have discussed earlier a phi component is 0 it gets cancelled because of the symmetry. So let us extend this concept for infinite length transmission line. Now in this case, point B it will go to infinity 
and point A it will go to minus infinity so that this length of this line it become infinity. So the coordinate of point B becomes 0, 0 infinity and coordinate of point A becomes 0, 0 minus infinity. So based on this assumption, now we will calculate the new values of alpha 1 and alpha 2. So in this situation, this alpha 1, this becomes pi by 2 because as this 8 goes to infinity, uh, this line AP, it will become almost vertical line. So this angle will be alpha 1 becomes pi by 2 and in the same manner, uh, if point T goes to infinity, then this line becomes vertical line upwards. So, alpha 2 in that case becomes minus pi by 2. So, if I substitute these values of alpha 1 and alpha 2 here, z component now, this will vanish. So, cos alpha 2 that is uh, cos minus pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 this becomes 0. So only row component remains. So this becomes uh, rho L upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho. So for infinite line charge now the electric field intensity there will be only rho component phi component as well as z component vanishes because of the symmetry now let us consider a surface charge with surface charge density rho s coulomb per meter square and let us assume some small incremental surface charge here. Let us say at point 1, small incremental surface charge at point number 2. Now, because of this differential surface charge at point 1 or point 2, a small charge dq, it is rho s into ds, that is the charge density multiplied by the small differential area ds. Now the total charge because of this com complete surface, this is now integration over this surface rho s ds. So that is the total charge because of this surface charge density rho s. So the electric field intensity as we have seen earlier, it is integration rho s ds. So that gives me the total charge divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square. Now again dE that is the incremental value of electric field intensity at point P. It is as per Coulomb's law we have seen it is uh, dQ upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a r. So integrating this it will give me the total electric field intensity. So carrying out this integration, so electric field intensity E I get as rho s upon twice epsilon 0 A0. So if you see here, there is only z component of this electric field intensity. Only z component of the electric field intensity exists other components they cancel out. So for example, because of this point, uh, because of this small incremental charge here, the electric field intensity direction, it will be in this direction. Okay. So if I split this into two components, so that is the y component here and the vertical component, that is the z component. So in the same manner, because of this incremental point charge at point 2, this is the direction of the electric field intensity. Component of this in the y direction, it will be in this direction and in the z direction, it will have 
this come so y component magnetodes they are equal and opposite in direct so they will cancel out so only z component remains and that's why what you see here it is only the z component in the same manner x component also vanishes because the contribution of x component in the positive x direction and the negative x direction it is same so only z component exist for a surface now the same concept if i find out for a electric field intensity for a parallel plate capacitor so you have one plate here with a surface charge density rho s another plate here with a surface charge density of minus rho s so as per the previous equations what we have seen if i want to find out the electric field intensity at this point so because of this rho s the electric field intensity it will be in the normal direction that means in this direction that is the direction a n similarly because of this minus rho s the electric field intensity at this point it will be in the negative a n direction so this direction is minus a n direction so adding this two negative negative sign cancels and finally this gives me e equal to rho s upon epsilon 0 this negative negative sign cancels so this becomes 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 1 so this is rho s upon a0 an an is the normal direction to this surface that is this in parallel plane so the conclusion from this is the electric field intensity between these two plates for a parallel plate capacitor it is independent of the distance between these two plates so it only depends upon the charge density rho s and the parameter epsilon 0 so which depends upon the properties of the dielectric that is permittivity so extending the same concept for volume charge so let us assume there is some spherical volume here we assume there is some differential volume dv here in this volume there is a volume charge density rho v in coulomb per meter cube and i am interested in finding out the electric field intensity at any point p so let us assume this is the point p where i am going to find out the electric field intensity p if this is a small in differential volume let us say dv then because of this differential volume dv if i multiply this differential volume dv by charge density that gives me the differential charge existing because of this small volume so the total charge because of this entire volume it is now volume integral rho v d so the same concept what we applied earlier so let us extend it for the volume charge the coordinates of point p is x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 so the electric field intensity differential electric field in intensity at point p due to the elementary volume charge at this point which is rho v dv so because of this can be considered as a point charge so the same uh, formula for coulomb's law we are using here so rho v dv this can be considered as a point charge so de it is rho v dv upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a so integrating both sides that gives me e now integrating both sides gives me e so that is carrying out integration over this that gives me the total charge so that is q here so this is q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 here now it is z square so z is the distance of this point p from origin now here i have assumed that the point p is located on the z axis now in general that this point p can be anywhere 
anywhere inside the space. So in that case, instead of a z, I can represent the direction as a r. Okay. So this is the general equation for electric field intensity because of volume charge density rho v. Okay. 